Hold on, we oh. figured out this. Your hand does like the squeeze thing. Yeah, yeah it goes up, and mm -hmm. then and then like I stick the finger out oh, sometimes, okay. but like oh, yeah, just, and then like you know, this. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do a counter or something yeah. graphics wise up. to see how many times Straight we dapped up. up. Let's, yeah. let's do that. <laughs> Are we? Am I gonna have to be worried about continuity? Because I might need to take this off at some point. Okay. Should I just put mine on if he has his on? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Right. Perfect. Right. Oh, that's, that's five is. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's Trey. Back for another questionnaire life, and today we have. Fireboy DML baby. Oh, I was gonna Today's give you a whole buddy. introduction, but like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> this man is on it. You ready to get in this? Bring it on. When you turn it on Netflix, you pick an action, horror, or comedy movie. Action because honestly, I'm a really dark person. I, I'm not really into that comedy, comedy. I feel like if you really want to laugh, you should actually experience people and make yourself laugh. You don't have to. I think it's kind of sad to like have to watch comedy to laugh. If you have to watch TV to feel good, it's like you think that's sad. That's like a <laughs> wild thing to say. Like, is it? It's like you pathetic motherfucker. You need The Simpsons. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite memory to draw from when you need to get happy? To go to the studio to make music. It automatically gets my mind off things. Happiness is a fleeting emotion, so I don't really look for it or seek it. I, when it comes, it comes. It will go because it's not supposed to last. But you appreciate it while it's there. Of course, definitely. That's what makes it what it is. Bar soap, gel soap, or just spray yourself with cologne? Gel soap. It's convenient. As a man, you can release, right? You're very much so. My man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that one again, hold up. <laughs> Your biggest regret in life is related to how you treated a person, how you treated an opportunity, or how you treated yourself. How I treated myself. It took me too long to like man up and have the balls to tell my dad what I really wanted to do with my life. He wanted you to be like a doctor or a lawyer or some shit. And... He wanted me to stay in school. I was actually a straight A student, like doing great, and then music found me in my second year in university and everything just changed. And I found purpose, and I realized that, bro, this is the only thing that you can do that will make you happy for the rest of your life. I was like, you know what, fuck it. I just told him, like, Baba, this is what I want to do with my life. And surprisingly, he was like, okay. Do you think maybe your story played out that way for a reason, though? Right? Yeah, sometimes I think about it, because if God had given me that fame back then, I would have mishandled it, and I'd probably not be here right now. So it was worth it. You know, I left school, came to Lagos, also for like two, three years, and then, boom, we're here. Here we are. In Vice. <laughs> we're talking chicken, leg, thighs, and wings. Thighs. What are we putting on the chicken? How are we getting the chicken? I like my chicken bland. Just normal seasoned chicken, not the extra stuff. What is a fireboy dream meal? You might not be familiar with it, but it's called Inyon pounded yam. It's oh, I'm yam? familiar pounded yam. Really? Yeah. My man. Yeah, I know, man. I know mad Nigerians, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. yeah pounded yam and a goosey soup. So I guess I kind of have to ask, like, outside of you guys, who makes the best jollof? Come on, man. I said outside of you guys. There's no outside. Okay. Okay? Right. It's Nigerian jollof or nothing. Bro, let's just move you on. Are you about to walk out. Let me change the subject. <laughs> Let me change the subject real quick. <laughs> What have you improved on the most throughout your career so far? Your technical ability, your songwriting, or your performing? Performance. You don't know what it's like until you get up on that stage and perform. There's so many things involved. The crowd, the energy, breath control, oh my. I struggled with that for a long time. Which of these traits could you deal with in a partner that otherwise might be deal breakers? They never laugh at your jokes. They never get along with your family or they're just like not appreciative of the stuff you do for them. It's fine if you don't laugh at my jokes, because I wouldn't make too many jokes anyway. That's a lie, I, I, I'm a very funny person. But if you're not appreciative of things I do for you, there's no second chance, I'm out, straight up. You, uh, you got a knack for these romance songs, man. Yeah. Most of my songs are projections of other people. Like my outbreak songs are never about me because I've never been outbroken in my life. <laughs> it's weird. And trust me, it's not something to be proud of, but it is what it is. I always say this, honesty is the soul of songwriting. It doesn't have to be your story. It could be someone else's story. It doesn't matter. As long as it's honest, when you put it out, someone somewhere is going to relate to it. And that's all that matters. That's what I bring into my version of Afrobeats. Afrobeats is known for 
the vibe, the energy, and the, the rhythm. I bring that intention, that songwriting feel, trying to put Afrobeat on the map, is just as big as hip hop or R&B, if you let it. It's a movement, it's a culture. It has history, so much history, and now more than ever, the world is paying attention. Bro, you got a good head on your shoulders, man. The future's gonna be just fine. Mm. Thanks, sir. Yeah, thank <laughs> Thanks, you. Man. Yeah, see y'all later. This is Fireboy. Look yes, out for much sir. more good music coming from him. Thank I'm you Trey. So much. Look for more mediocre to good interviews coming out of me. And um, yeah, see y'all later. <laughs> Who's your club team? Manchester United. My oh, fuck off. Oh, what team do you support? I'm a Liverpool supporter. Oh yeah. man, the team I can't stand is Chelsea. If you're a Chelsea fan, I'll walk out of this place. Fuck Chelsea. Fuck Chelsea, man. At least we have a common enemy. Bring it in, man.